A wearable espresso extraction timer never looked so good. Today we're going to take a look at this gorgeous yet quirky Mecha Quartz Chronograph from the micro brand Brew. Despite skyrocketing prices and multi-year waitlists for certain watch brands, there are plenty of watch companies out there who are developing creative designs and offering stunning watches directly to the buying public at reasonable prices. With all of the micro and independent brands seeking to break the mold, it's just a great time to be a watch enthusiast. I've been really excited to check out the offerings from several micro brands, and today we're going to take a look at this Mecha Quartz Chronograph from the Brew Watch Company. Brew was founded by an industrial designer named Jonathan Ferrer in New York around 2015. For this line of timepieces, the company's designer has drawn inspiration from commercial espresso machines, from the colors, the shapes, and the brushing. And there's some fun coffee-related touches on a lot of the offerings from this brand. As someone who really likes coffee, and in particular espresso-based drinks, and geeks out as much on espresso machines, grinders, and beans as I do watches, I've had my eye on getting a brew watch for quite some time. But even if you don't like coffee, this brand simply offers really quality timepieces. What we have here is the Retrograph. Brew has five different variations within this line, including a white dial Oxford, the Technicolor, the Espresso, a funky 8-bit brew, and this classic blue dial, referred to as Cobalt. The cases on these Retrographs have a rectangular shape with some curvature to the sides and measure in at 38 millimeters in diameter, a very manageable 41.5 millimeters in length, and about 10.4 millimeters in thickness. The cases are stainless steel with high polish on the sides and super smooth brushing on the top bezel surrounding the face, and the dial is protected by a flat sapphire crystal. The right side of the case features two small chronograph pushers and a non-screw down crown that's signed with Brew's coffee bean logo. The case back here is completely flat and horizontally brushed and is held down by four screws in each of the corners. The text on the back of the case shows Brew Universal, which might be a relic from a prior name they were intending to go with, and it confirms some of the watch's main features. The case is water resistant to a modest 50 meters, which is good for rain and some light splashing, but the style of this watch isn't something you'd probably consider taking into the water anyway. Turning to the dial on this cobalt reference, it features a really nice blue color with a sunburst texture. The primary hands on this dial are the hour and minute hands, which are simple white stick baton hands, and there's also a nice white chronograph hand. There are two sub-dials on this face, a 24 hour clock at the 3 o'clock position, and a 60 minute chronograph dial at the 9 o'clock position. There's no seconds hand on this dial, so there's essentially no movement when you're looking down at the face, which I think works really well on this pretty classic looking and almost stoic dial. It also helps hide the fact that this is a mecha quartz movement rather than a fully mechanical watch. There is a date window at the 6 o'clock position, and the dial includes minimal text, with the brew logo at the 12 and a simple retrograph at the 6. As a nod to espresso lovers, the chapter ring encircling the dial of these retrographs cleverly include more specific tick marks between the 0 and 35 seconds, since you generally want your espresso shot to extract between 25 and 35 seconds depending on the type of bean, grind size, and your desired output. There's super luminova on the hour markers as well as the hour and minute hands, but it isn't terribly strong. The tang buckle strap on this retrograph is constructed with really soft, pliable, and cushiony black leather that tapers from 22mm down to 18mm, and comes with quick releases for easy strap changing. The quick releases are a great touch, and I think more watches should just come with this function. The movement on this watch is a hybrid Mecha Quartz chronograph, which combines a quartz movement for the general timekeeping and a mechanical movement for the chronograph. As this is a quartz movement, it keeps incredibly accurate time and the cost a little bit more reasonable. Honestly, I wasn't sure how I'd feel about the brew watches, including the rectangular shape on this retrograph. And given the reasonable price of $375, I didn't know what the quality would be like. It's very difficult to assess watches through pictures, and while videos like this do help quite a bit more, it's always more enlightening to get the pieces in your hands. But given the company's small production capabilities, Brew's more popular watches are often sold out. I had my eye on a few different models, and when this Cobalt version became available again, I jumped on it. 
After spending a few weeks with this watch, I'm really happy to report that I'm completely in love with it. It's a great size and weight, and has a really nice classic looking dial, and the rectangular shape of the case really works for me. The aesthetics on this cobalt are stunning, and I think it works best with a smart casual look. The watch also feels really well constructed, and of impressive quality for the price. I'm really happy I bought this watch, and it's definitely a keeper for me, and I really look forward to trying some more offerings from Brew.